Hello today guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the first Liberia rabbit farm where I discuss basically about rabbit farming and the importance of urban agriculture initiative. Today as I promised on my previous video that I'm going to be telling you the reason why you should not get certain, certain feed to your rabbit when you are in African setting and this is the video already packaged just for you. Okay guys, it's so great to be back with you. Thanks for being there. Thanks for the patience. On my process here, we are propagating rabbit for sale, for meat, for petting purposes. And that's why I always care about going after great information that can be helpful to people that are in the process of rabbit farming as well. Because you know what? This animal is prolific, it breeds very fast up. The gestation period for this animal is just 30 days, almost 30 days to 31 days. The candle that is the gay breath, they, they, they drop their kids. So the rabbit babies are what we refer to as rabbit kids, yeah? So when that is happening, you should not also forget about plan B. While some people say that they don't always think on plan B, they always just on plan A, but for me, I always use plan A, but plan B is my normal six. I don't forget about plan B. And that's why you see my bonus are always healthy because I don't compromise when it comes to what finding out what to do to keep them up to date. And today on the list, we have feed that I'm going to recommend to you that you should not give to feed to your rabbit when you are in African setting, most especially when you are in the process or rabbit farming in African setting, I'm here to tell you that do not give to feed that are on the list to your rabbit. And the reason for which you should not give to feed to your rabbit are also bundled and attached to this presentation. And that's why if you're first on my channel, before we move forward, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification icon so that you can be notified whenever I come up with new projects on this channel so that you will be informed. Sharing my video in other social media platforms can really make me feel great and that's the way you help me move the video forward. In African setting, when we are farming bonus, sometimes we go on the social media, via YouTube, Facebook, to look at how the animal we got around us that we are caring for, what to do for them to meet their help and to meet their desire. So at times we indirectly adapt system to our farming venture that can really pose serious threat in terms of setting up back into our endeavors which of course i have noticed that as i confirmed that and that's why i came up with this video to tell you that it's not always necessary to do something people are doing in europe in the united kingdom in america on this channel i also have a topic that i just prefer to up with and it's also doing great people are following it and it's so cool so you see that this is the reason for which you should know that when it comes to rabbit farming we all have to keep our hand on deck to make sure that we get the true success so that we can be able to share the story tomorrow but i always got this syndrome that is not always going to be me myself and i because i believe that other people out there should be able to get the idea in fact they are just looking for one word to cross the barrier that is before them and that's why i'm here so guys i want to say that it's never a waste of time for you subscribing on my channel and i hope you won't regret because you all my subscribers are not just my community but you are also part of my family now and that's the reason for which i'm on this camera for you now the first fee on the list that you should not give to your rabbit when you are in African setting is red purple. When it comes to rabbit farming, do not give red purple to your rabbit. Do not give red purple to your rabbit. A reason for which you should not give red purple to your rabbit is because it's going to play major parts in damaging the rabbit immune system because it's going to make the rabbit immune system to be very weak. The rabbit will not be strong enough to fight back against germs or bacteria because of the sweetness of the purple. And two, the stood of the rabbit is not going to be looking fine. It's not going to be high and round soft. 
the stool of the rabbit is going to be like kind of soft, like kind of the rabbit have runny stomach or dysentric, whatever it is. That's why you don't have to give right purple to your rabbit when you are farming rabbit in African setting. And the reason for which the people in Western world gave those, some of those feed to this rabbit because they have the system already set when it comes to taking care of the rabbit health veg or taking the rabbit to a nearby clinic or hospital to look at the animal, to treat the animal. Even the kind of medicine they give to their animal when they are in a Western world. How do you really have that facility here in African setting for your bullies? You are even finding it challenging to even have just an injection to give to your rabbit. Now to talk about when your rabbit is facing a serious health issue. So like that, you will be going into the process and at the end result, you'll be putting your hand on your head to cry because you know what? The kind of fee you gave into your rabbit will result into how your rabbit gonna perform. So the next fee on the lay is watermelon. Do not give watermelon to your rabbit. The reason for which you cannot give watermelon to your rabbit on a high scale because watermelon contains sugar, okay? Watermelon contains sugar and it has a whole lot of, similar to like purple, you know, soft, soft component stuff. So when rabbit sees watermelon, they're going to go for it. They love it. They're going to eat it as well. But you know what? Their, their system don't really need that watermelon. Because the only thing you're going to see when they are about to pass out, that is their poop, there where you're going to know that, hey, I don't think I should get, continue giving this to my rabbit because the stood of my rabbit has automatically changed. This is why I want to tell you, when you are farming rabbit and you give certain certain feed to the rabbit, if you are careful, you know, you observe each feed you, go to the, you give to the rabbit, you will notice their stood. You will notice their poop when they are passing out. You will see their stool. It will result into it. And let's look at the benefits also living within the body as well. Bro, so I always like to tell people, do not just adapt that system of feed to your rabbit. That brought us to apple. Yeah, apple. Some people see on the internet, people use apple in feeding their ponies, they cut it, make it in the whole sauce, like something. Put it down for the bullies to eat and they can eat all oh show sure. because bully love apple as well apple contains some level of sugar and, and they, but these are feed that is not really necessary for your rabbit when you are in african setting giving them to your rabbit on your regular basis at the end of the day you will be rushing into some health complicated issue because you know why rabbit don't waste time in showing sound when it's not doing pretty good the first sound rabbit could put on when it's not doing pretty well is that the rabbit might not be eating feed or the rabbit might not be drinking water uh, the rabbit might just be quiet what are you do what you don't do what is just quiet so that's why you don't just have to get certain certain feed to the rabbit because the rabbit system and the next thing we have on the labia is carrot well, many people see carrot on the internet, even on a novel, they see, once you see carrot, the next thing the people see rabbit eating carrot, they say, oh yeah, carrot make your eyes sharp, that's why rabbit got sharp eyes. Oh yeah, naturally rabbit got sharp eyes, that's naturally, naturally rabbit are born and when they are coming up, they can have very sharp eyes. If you don't know guys, rabbit breast milk is one of the best breast milk I have ever rare about because you know what rabbit grow on a daily basis so what is making them to grow is because of the nutrient and the value they are getting and that's the reason why when you are having those pets taking care of them you should also be looking at how they are going about their time and how they are growing up so if you get a bunny now and spend it one day when they get breath, one day to 14 days, you will see the changes within the kids. Then when you have any other pet that you're raising when they get breath from one day to 14 days, you will see the changes will be very slow in between there. But not for a rabbit. This is the reason for which a mature rabbit is between six to five months or five months to six months like that. So when you get seven to eight month old rabbit, then you should know that your rabbit is well mature so that you even been keeping it for long because it's even supposed to be breeding for you already and that brought us to cabbage oh yeah cabbage do not give cabbage to your rabbit on 
high skill. The reason for which you are not going to give cabbage to your rabbit on a high skill because cabbage contains a lot of sugar. So constant giving of cabbage to your bunnies is going to break your bunny immune system. And the immune system of every living being or living animal is a system that helps to fight back against bacteria or germs that want to reside within the system of that animal. And that's the reason for which when you are having rabbit, you should be curious about the balanced diet of the rabbit. Once you don't meet the demands of the body's balanced diet of the rabbit, I don't care whether you get 2,000 rabbit at your farm, horrible things are going to happen to you. It will be a devastating disaster that will come across your farm that you will just be watching your bone die in sequence one after the other. For no other reason but just from the way you started getting fee for your own rabbit, you poison them unknown to yourself because you don't have the medical care. There's your night you come to check your farm to examine your rabbit. That's a whole war war for you. So now to talk about you get a clinic that you're gonna take your rabbit to. But those in the Western world they get all the facilities set and they are enjoying them. And that's the reason for which you even see some of them get the bunnies, they put it in the top full of water and they are bathing the bunnies, they are putting vacuum on the bunnies. I have to say they are they they, they, they are breeze blowing the bunnies, they are doing all sorts of things with the bunny because you know what? That's their way of life. So this is not our way of life. How many all got vacuum in our houses to even blow our hair when we come from taking bath? Now to talk about blowing bunnies when we bathe them in the cold water. So when you are putting your bunnies in the water constantly and you say because on the internet I saw people bathing the bunnies so let me be doing it to all of my bunnies are dying to look shiny. No, the only thing I want to tell you, keep your bunny into a cage. That bunny is going to be very pretty okay. When you know that you are having your bunny for a petting purposes, that I means you can do these things and you should observe the sun rays of the day before even you talk about going to bathe your bunnies. So guys, the next fee on the list that you should not give to your rabbit is cucumber. Cucumber contains a lot of water and you are already serving the rabbit fee and water. Water is already in the making. So do not give cucumber to your rabbit because the cucumber on the rabbit is chewing literally is just water okay so constant chewing of the cucumber on the rabbit system is going to get get fuel and then at the end of the day when the rabbit try to pass out the poop in the stood of the or the stood of the rabbit is not going to be looking fine so for me here i use the rabbit stew for organic purposes i make my farm take my oh i don't go to the store to buy fertilizer i don't go there I don't even go to buy pesticides that is chemical for my for insects. I don't go there because I use the rabbit urine for that purpose to scare away insects from eating my crops. And I also use the rabbit poop to be able to have more harvest of my crops because that's what rabbit poop does. Okay, so when you are not getting the poop in an adequate form, you should know that you will be missing out certain income as it relate towards your venture because like for me i design a strategy where i can sell rabbit pee and i can sell rabbit poo and i can sell the rabbit itself so you see i'm getting for now i'm getting three items from the rabbit the poo the pee and the rabbit itself so as time go by maybe i'll be getting four items there or five items because i'll be selling the meat and i'll be selling the the four that is the skin of the rabbit it's not impossible it's also possible when you are into the venture it just have to do with you getting your hand on this and following the rules and regulation on going about propagating the animal for the better of yourself and for you to a mastermind some profit because you know what when you are venturing your time into these things your results should be having more capital to be able to take care of you and taking care of the farm back why will you be giving watermelon to your bunny red pepper to your bunny cucumber to your bunnies at this leaf all their components are just soft, soft, soft. Rabbit system needs something that is very hard and rough. That's what rabbit system needs to be able to function properly. When you are getting those soft, soft components for the rabbit, you will not experience problem immediately. But after some period of time, then you will start to notice total breakdown at your farm. You'll be surprised to just come one morning, you see 10 rabbits are not going for feed. And that will be heartbreaking. 
when you are farming rabbit and your rabbit reach to the stage that is not eating no longer, you are in a very big situation there. Because how can you differentiate why my bunny is not eating? What, what, what will you really see? And maybe you are in a setting that you don't even have a veg to your location. That's a horrible situation. So to be on the safe side, save yourself by just being with the original feed of rabbit. Green grass, hay, leaves. Deal with them in the blended way that I told you in my previous video is on this channel. And then you will see your rabbit will have no health complicated issue. Because I like to tell you about this, when you are farming rabbit, no more matters. To recap, I will just call them rapidly, and that will be the red purple, and cucumber, and cabbage, watermelon, carrot, and apple. You don't have to give them to your bunny so that you will not encounter any health complicated issue to your farming venture. Because when your bunny falls sick, the chances of them surviving is 100% slim. Okay. So guys, on this note, I want to say thank you so much. Thank you so much. I just came up with this because it was a promise during the climax of my previous videos that I'm going to be telling you the kind of feed that you should not give to your rabbit in African setting because you saw people giving them to their rabbit in Europe or the United States.